Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am going to take you along as I plan for my upcoming week of homeschooling. Um, I don't do this on the same day every week. Sometimes it's Thursday after we finished our lessons. Sometimes it's Sunday, sometimes it's Friday night, but we'll get into it. Okay, so if you hear cheeping in the background, we have our chicks in the sunroom. I thought it was kind of like a school project or something, you know, so they're in here. Um, as far as what day I do do planning on, um, like, so if I can finish it up Thursday while we're already kind of in the groove of lessons, that's my favorite. So I'm going to flip you guys around and I will kind of show you like what we use as I am planning it because I like to get all of my stuff out. I actually don't usually do my planning in here. I usually do it in the living room um, and everything is kind of like easy to reach, but it's easier to show you guys in here. The chicks are getting quite rowdy over here. Okay, so I do have a video on the planner that I made. Um, it was just with Canva. Um, but anyway, I've got group subjects here. So usually that's what I will go toward first. So I get out my um, Noeo instructor's guide. 32. So I will just look at the pages that we're reading. They have it laid out for a week, but we do it in two day segments. Um, so I will just split this up. Um, pages 8 to 31 and then one experiment, which I'll hop over to in a second. Okay, and then I go over it in here. So the experiment this week is making a solar system out of um, like fruit and random things around the house. But we actually have um, a kit already for making a solar system. So that is what we'll be doing. And if you're interested, this is the book that they're referring to. So this is what it'll look like when we're reading and I think they're going to have a lot of fun with this. So as you can see, we do science on Monday and Tuesday and then for Wednesday and Thursday, we do our history. So I actually already know what like the coming plan is for this. Um, the only thing I do need to check that I didn't bring in here is our hands on history for um, that I like to do with it. It's, it's through Bookshark. Um, and I think that they have another, we just did a, um, a like a paper dragon that was um, for China. And then we've got some other stuff. But anyway, this is the teacher's guide and I already know what I'm doing. <laughs> so we just started this um, already actually because we had a dentist appointment today. So we started it early. This is from the bookshark side. So we will continue to read that. Okay, and I just remembered, I kept trying to put this book here, but I have a different history we started on Wednesdays, which is this. Um, we are doing one of these a week. Uh, there's just a few pages. So we are on the fourth. And this is what it looks like in here. They're really sweet. And then there's just like a little coloring activity thing that they do alongside it. Then for our like morning time, all we've really actually been doing is Harry Potter. And if you have not checked out the Mina Lima versions, they're so fun. Um, they're like interactive. And there's the Grimm. It's just, <laughs> these are like really fun. We all really like reading these. And the illustrations in them are also really pretty. Um, so anyway, that's pretty much our only morning time because for their language arts. I'll show you in a sec. Um, they do Bible. 
Okay, so next I plan for math. So we normally do dimensions. Um, my son is a, my kindergartner is about to start this and my second grader is about to start this. But in between those, we are doing these. So I am going to look in here and see what the following week is. I'm looking at what things we're going they're going to need as well as which um, page to go to because this is a book that I need to have with me. Um, to be honest, I don't really always write out math. Um, I never write out language arts because it's just open and go. But this math um, is a little bit different. It's not something that I always use. Um, so I probably would be writing it down. And then um, they have a bunch of games, so each day will be a different game. But I'm just going to reference the books when I'm in there. <laughs> My chick's going crazy. Okay, now for language arts. Oh, the last thing for math um, that I will look through is this. And I'll find a couple of activities to do with my toddler in the morning. So like I was saying before, sorry, the shade's coming, <laughs> the sun's coming, um, is I, we're doing the Bible with them. So on Mondays, I have my kindergartner read aloud. So this is his, and then my second grader has the level four. Um, so he will read aloud on Monday. And then my um, second reader will re read it silently this day and then aloud here. So each week they're going through two chapters. Um, I did this so that one wouldn't be spoiling it for the other by them hearing the story read aloud. And so far it's working really well. Um, and then this day is when I will throw in our brave writer. I've kind of honestly been slacking on it lately. I haven't been as interested in it. Um, but this is another one that I will just pull off and look through like right before we do it. As far as the rest of their language arts, um, if you guys, oh my goodness, the chicks right now. Um, the other things that we do are they both have their good and the beautiful. This is very open and go. Um, I just glance through it when I'm setting everything up because this is where we do school. And then um, their handwriting. And then I go through for activities for the week. So this week on Thursday is our um, homeschool meetup. So we are going to an art class together. So I'll put that on here. Here we have, I'm not going to write her name, but we have a friend coming in the afternoon. And then I, over the weekend is when I usually go in and try to fill in if we need to do anything else. Um, on Wednesday, we do have our music class. I don't know why I wrote Wednesday, but... <laughs> and it's a group. So they have ukulele and then they have music, all three of them together. Mondays, I like to save and have no activities. <laughs> it's like baking and cleaning. Um, Fridays, you'll notice I don't really write anything in for Fridays. My mom has always come over and visited with us on Fridays. We don't usually really plan too much. Um, yeah, and then outside of school, I, I'll put our dinners up here. For the week, I usually put Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, down like that, and then I put those through. I put this little calendar guy in, and then these I just use for notes for upcoming holidays, things like that, and planning for a homeschool group, um, a big Easter egg hunt at our on our property. Um, so that's probably what I'll be planning here as well. 
Okay, hopefully that was helpful for you guys to kind of see how I plan and think about our week when it's upcoming. Um, I haven't really been making that many videos lately because I've been very occupied. This is like my busy time of year. I just like come up with things to keep myself busy. Who knows why? <laughs> um, but anyway, um, let me know some other videos you guys would like to see because since my motivation is low, it's hard to think of ideas. Um, but I'm here to make them. So let me know and I can make them for you guys. And um, again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.